Hello YouTube fans and welcome uh, to my review of the SR638D so um, this knife is sold by Gearbest so I will put the the link to your Gearbest uh, page uh, in the description below uh, yeah uh, so the knife comes in a paper box and the description of the of the of the knife says that the brand is SR uh, if you are looking at the box it says Shuang Rong knives okay so obviously China has a tiger or lion tiger probably and this is the part number and probably the issue the run when they were made so December okay so the knife comes they give you a pouch and this is around sixteen dollars sixteen seventeen dollars okay mm. right uh, right after I I took the knife of the box when I did my initial unboxing uh, the knife was clean had no oil residue like most of the Chinese knives come in and the first thing I want to address is obviously what this knife is this knife is a let's say copy or a factory another factory version of the of the CRKT fossil I would probably say that this is a, a copy a copy design but they are not the same as you can see the the SR 63AD is a little bit larger so this is a 23.5 oh, sorry 13.5 centimeter handle and this is only 12.5 so it is longer and also the width of the knives are not the same this is a 4 centimeters and this is 3.5 so it is larger and just for good measure here is the small so the small fossil the large fossil and the XL fossil <laughs> uh, yeah CRKT did not release any bigger version of the Icoma fossil um, folder so obviously they could not just take the the file, the CAD files, and produced it with a different color of, of G10 scales and uh, sell it. So right, right from the from the start, I want to uh, tell that um, nowhere on the box says fossil or even the description on the gear best or on the knife. So maybe they just uh, wanted to copy the. And uh, it is called, I think, Avenger. It is the custom version of the Icoma uh, knife. I'm not sure, but I think it is called uh, Avenger. So fossil is just the the uh, product description name f f that is made by CRKT. Okay. So yes, but uh, 
firstly I had different um, different uh, uh, different pieces of these knives so they came in a different uh, quality uh, level let's say it okay some have a very hard uh, detent it is almost impossible to flip it and you really need to oil up the the detent hole so you can use it uh, some had a light like this one has a light uh, a light detent so sorry for that so it flips better than this one but let's put them aside for a while when I did picked up this knife firstly as you saw it is uh, it is larger but uh, this is much more uh, much more heavier I did not weight the the knives but uh, when you pick up this knife it is just light just light the second thing what was very 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 good was the the flipping action uh, the flipping action is excellent given that uh, the price point this is under twenty dollars I don't know the current pricing on the on the fossil but I think around maybe 40 50 60 so yeah um, the flipping action was very very good um, another thing was the the detention details the the real fossil has just a nice uh, two-tone finish on the on the blade and some texturing on the handle and dimplings milled in to the G10 so it looks like wood okay the the SR638D has also a multi-layered uh, G10 with the uh, stiplings with blue, excellent blue, nice blue color I love the blue color and also has this uh, 3D I don't know if it is edged or milled but considering the price point and the uh, difficulty to produce this kind of, uh, of texture I would say wow this uh, wants to give you an impression, an impression of a hammered, hammer uh, styled uh, 3D texturing this one is obviously much more in depth so I will consider it very nice and also they not only just give you a just a plain, uh, plain setting hand drop setting uh, finish but they give you nice texturing also on a blade and I don't know how they make this probably with some kind of laser but man this is really nice and this is another uh, production step that must be factored in when you are calculating the overall, overall price uh, yeah you have the, the logo there but it's not not so impressive but if you look closely this is a working uh, working stone wash finish what I would call it only downside what I must uh, must uh, show here was the markings on the blade I don't know if that is some kind of glue residue on some kind of mounting equipment that uh, they put maybe on a vise or s something that uh, that was a little bit disappointed, but but uh, look, uh, if you are considering the pricing, so uh, 16, 17 bucks, come on. With that fit and finish, no blade play whatsoever, zero, up and down, zero. I have not had a, a Chinese knife at that price point that is built like a tank. The CRK is the same, but much more expensive. Uh, probably the only difference is the, is the clip.
they used probably to save money just they bend over clip and this is the three part construction clip yeah but but I'm I'm really impressed what uh, what uh, nowadays what uh, can uh, they offer you obviously um, given the lesser price point uh, they had to save some money and uh, in this uh, in this uh, version of the knife or let's say in this knife you have uh, they have the blade made out of uh, only the three CR13 blades so yeah obviously the 8 CR13 MOE or AUS 8 what I'm not uh, remembering what uh, CRKT is using but this is mm, better still but for the price point I will probably say that uh, given that this will be a much softer steel uh, it will not last too long sharp but hey it is a soft steel so you can resharpen it very easily just use a, a strap or or ceramic uh, sticks yeah so I'm really impressed and I really wanted to share and therefore I bought this knife also to check out uh, Gearbest and how fast they ship and if the item also comes like the advertising and they have beautiful pictures on the website and they are true to the product I can only say good job Gearbest I will probably make my order soon to get more these inexpensive knives to show them to you because at the end of the day uh, not everybody can uh, can afford a, a, a custom knife or a uh, hundred dollar plus or, mm. or five hundred dollar plus knife so this is always good to to have a, a video on it and this will help my subscribers to get nice knives if you don't uh, interested in the all the bullshit about about copies and clones and everything so this will be another problem for you yeah I love the I love the original maybe 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 someday I will get also the uh, the custom who knows they are very very expensive but for now this one is also good I love the design, I love the fit and finish and one more thing I wanted before I end uh, the knife, this uh, this cheaper knife, this, this SR63AD uh, has a, has not sharp edges so it is, it is not completely rounded but uh, it is much more preferable like the CRKT, These are, this is very sharp here and also here they didn't round it or just uh, a little bit uh, made uh, them uh, better for your thumb so yeah but sorry my battery died once again <laughs> okay so yeah I just wanted to share with you uh, this new knife uh, also the construction of the backspacer is a little bit different obviously as you can see the width of the of the blade is a little bit uh, smaller on the on the SR6 3AD than on the fossil, so that will also um, be because why this knife is much heavier and they're using a plastic or FRN backspacer, and what I would probably prefer, which is much more uh, better suited is a open pillar construction so on the SR 63D you have a open pillar construction and look the, the centering is not perfect but is very good for the price point yeah so that was my review short quick review of the of the SR 
638 bought from Gearbest. So if you like, check out the site. I will try to contact them if they have a have a coupon code for me that I can now uh, and I can uh, uh, give to you so you can buy this knife even cheaper I will do so check the description below um, yeah and as always thanks for watching have a nice day bye